In this video, I want to summarize the control mechanisms of prokaryotic transcription. So there are usually two categories when you, that you consider when you think about how a system is controlled. So the first one is whether or not it's inducible or repressible. And the second if, is if it's positively or negatively controlled. We've talked about inducible or repressible before, and that tells you about the overall system as far as transcription, whether it's occurring or not. So an inducible system can be turned on, so that means it's normally off. A repressible system, it can be turned off, so it's normally on. That's something we've talked about before, but what about positively or negatively controlled? This is something that we haven't mentioned yet. This tells you the kind of regulatory protein that is initially made and used by the operon. So if something is positively controlled, it encodes for an inducer. And if something is negatively controlled, it encodes for a repressor. We haven't talked about inducer proteins, but we have talked about repressor proteins. Now let's look at this chart below and try to figure things out. So on the top here, I've written whether the system is negatively controlled or positively controlled. And on the side here, I've written inducible or repressible system. So this first one is an inducible system that is negatively controlled. So let's go through and think about what's going on here. So the fact that it's negatively controlled means that it encodes for a repressor protein. The fact that it's inducible means that it can be turned on. So let's think about this here. Normally, this system is off. Transcription is off but it can be turned on. That, that information comes from the fact that we know that it's inducible. It can be turned on, normally off. The fact that it's negatively controlled tells us that it encodes for and has a repressor protein. So, now let's think about these questions here. So normally, is the repressor bound and active? Well, normally, this system is off. So, would the repressor be bound normally? The answer is yes. So, this, this system creates a repressor, and that repressor is initially active, normally active. So, it'll go through, bind the operator, and stop transcription. Now, how can this system be turned on? Well, we add a co-inducer or an inducer. So the inducer binds the repressor on the operator, causing it to fall off, and that makes the repressor inactive. So here I've re represented the inducer or the co-inducer in green, binding the repressor, making it inactive. A system that we're familiar with that's like this, an example, is the LAC operon, which we've talked about in another video. Now what if we have a repressible system that's negatively controlled? So this here, a repressible system that's negatively controlled. So the fact that it's repressible tells us that it can be turned off and that it's normally on. The fact that it's negatively controlled, right, it's negatively controlled, means that it encodes, and ha it encodes for and has a repressor protein. So here, it's encoding for a repressor protein. Now, normally, is that repressor protein bound and active? Well, we know that normally it's on, so would it normally be repressed? No, that means initially that this repressor that they make is inactive. So how do we get this repressor to work? How, does, how is the system turned off? We add a co-repressor. So this inactive repressor protein needs a co-repressor in order to become active, and then it actually binds the operator, and then it stops or turns off transcription. An example of this is the tryptophan operon that we talked about in a previous video. Now what about a system that is inducible but positively controlled? So inducible means, let me scroll this down, there we go. Inducible tells us that normally it's off, normally off and can be turned on. Positively controlled tells us that it encodes for and has an inducer protein. So here, it initially codes for and makes 
an inducer protein. Now, normally, is the inducer bound and active? Well, we know that normally it's off, so the inducer would not be bound. So the answer here is no. I actually don't think I wrote it down here. Right? Normally, is the repressor bound? The answer here was no. Sorry about that. So here, normally is the inducer bound? Well, we know that normally it's off, so it's not induced normally. It's normally not bound. The inducer is normally inactive. So how do we turn it on? Well, we add a co-inducer, something to help it induce. So now this inducer is active, it can go through and bind the operator. And when it does, the RNA polymerase can go through. So this is sort of activating things in the way it's going. An example of this is um, the, the idea of catabolite repression that we talked about in a previous video. Right? The, um, the co-inducer was the cyclic AMP cap complex. Now, what about a repressible system that is positively controlled? So if it's a repressible system, that means it can be turned off and that it's normally on. So, and then the fact that we know that it's positively controlled means that it encodes for and has an inducer protein. So now we want to ask ourselves, normally, is the inducer bound and active? Well, normally the system is on, so should the inducer be bound and active normally? Yes, it should be. So the inducer that is made here is normally active and binds the operator and RNA polymerase can go and allow transcription to occur. How do you turn this off? Well, you add a co-repressor or some sort of repressor that causes that binds to the inducer, making it inactive. An example of this, I didn't actually we didn't actually talk about one, so I'm going to put here an example none that we talked about. I'm sure there are some, but this is just sort of a general idea for all of these four things. I hope that video was helpful in explaining these control mechanisms in a, in a sort of overview fashion. One last thing, I am a tutor. If you live in Southern California, feel free to contact me via email at MoofUniversity at gmail.com and see the description below for more details. Thanks for watching.